Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Make this your home for the right for right now. You don't want to go travel outside. Just stay right here. Give the mind a chance to rest, because it's been traveling through large parts of the world already today. It needs time to be itself, to look after itself. So give it one good thing to think about, the breath. And as for other things, you can let them go for the time being. You're not being irresponsible. You're taking care of what needs to be taken care of inside that nobody else can take care of for you, the quality of your mind. This is your responsibility. It's the way the mind functions. It takes things from outside and then it elaborates on them and then it makes stories about them. And then based on that, it chooses what to respond to, what not to respond to. And so you want to make sure you're responding to the right things. And part of this, of course, has to do with the principle that the Buddha calls restraint of the senses. As you go through the day, be care very careful about what you're looking at, what you're listening to, what you're thinking about. These are the, of the six senses, these are the three big ones. What kind of information are you bringing in? And is it good for you or is it good bad for you? Sometimes we don't think about whether it's good for us or bad for us, we just gobble things down. And then we complain when we've got a stomach ache. We have to be very careful about what you're taking in. Because it's going to come out in your thoughts and your words and your deeds, just like the food that goes into your stomach gets into your body. And either the body gets sick or the body gets strong. If it's strong, it can do good things. If it's weak, it has trouble. So make sure you're taking in good things from outside and then sending good things out outside in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds every day, every day, all through the day. Of course, that requires that the mind has some time by itself, which is what we're doing right now. Giving it some time by itself to think about one thing, just the breath. It's a good thing to think about. The breath is very calming. You can ask yourself what kind of breathing would be calming right now. And you can breathe in a way that soothes things out. And we're feeling soothed inside. Then when people say things or do things to you, you don't have to react. You can figure out what's the wise way to take in that information, what's the wise way to think about that information, and what's the wise way to respond. Because you're coming from a good place. If you're not coming from a good place, it's hard to think of these things. It feels like a burden. You know, why, why can't people take care of their thoughts, words, and deeds? Why don't they dump them on me? Well, don't think of them dumping on you. Have them dump off to the side, and then you look at what they've dumped. And take what's good. And as for what's not and what's not useful, I just leave it. If you can think in those terms, it helps a lot. And how do you think clearly in those terms? Well, you get the mind calm first. So calm the mind down. Get it solidly based right here when you're coming from a sense of well-being, a sense of calm inside. And even though the world may be hot and hurried, you don't have to be hurried along with it because you get harried. Then it gets really difficult to think of the right thing to do. So when you can stay calm, even though other people are not calm, you've got the advantage. You can see what they're up to, you can see what they're doing, and things that might have started an incident when they said it and you responded, don't start the incident, they just lie right there. Because it is a difficult world to live in. But if we have the skills that the Buddha taught us, we can manage our way through the world and not have to suffer and not cause any suffering to other people either. With as few conflicts, with as few difficulties as possible. Because as the Buddha said, where did the, the trouble come from? We talk about bad taking that bad things from outside, but it's how you focus on those things, how you think about them, what you respond to, what you don't respond to. That's what makes all the difference. That's what makes you suffer or not suffer. So look inside. Take care of what's going on inside, the functions of the mind right now. Thinking about the breath, adjusting the breath, getting the mind to calm down. This is going to give the mind strength. And then when you've got a good breath like this, why leave it when you leave meditation? Take it with you. So as you go through the day, you're coming from a good place. That way your response to the world is good for the world and it's, it's good for you. 
As for the things that are not good, you can leave them there. You don't have to lay claim to them as your own. This way you go through the world selectively. And that's a sign of intelligence. This is what makes us different from inanimate things. Inanimate things just get kicked around, they bounce back. They don't choose what to respond to, what not to respond to, because they can't. Well, we can. And so make sure that your responses are wise. Choose wisely. And drain the mind so it's in a strong place so they can continue to choose wisely all through the day.